Okay, so first step for you guys wanting to learn to speedrun the game. You go through this text box really quickly. I'm like barely even wanting to touch my controller right now. And then you go to your menus, go to config. You don't have to do what I do here. Then you go put cursor on memory, ATB on active, fast battle speed all the way up, fast battle message all the way up, fast field message all the way up. And that's all you gotta do, and continue. This first fight, you just hold circle. Hope for the best. I got the worst starting ATB. All right, now pay attention. This is very important. Everybody who wants to learn the route and to speed run the game. You run the rest of the way. Next screen, you walk, okay? You walk from the entrance Hug the left all the way to Biggs, okay? Why am I doing what, Absorbent? All right, so then for names, because the PC version's weird, every time you hit okay, it sends your letter, it sends you down to select. So you just gotta do single letter names for this. This is PC version, Muja. So then you just delete Barrett's name all the way, then have your thing on B and just hit circle. They have it, Nicarious. Besides, I don't want to take the time to do that with the keyboard and put the controller down. All right, so then you run. You have to be very crisp with your running, okay? You have to hug the walls, hug everything. You have to get really good at driving in this game because the way you drive is the most important. You walk mark be so that you manipulate the step counter. Why am I explaining? Because a lot of people want to learn and uh, partake in our races and stuff. So I'm just teaching them how to do it. All right, so this is pretty self-explanatory. How's the music volume? Should I turn it up some? What's up, JRR? So then you ignore Jesse's O face. Thank you, Alex, for the uh, PayPal donation. I really appreciate it. Glad you enjoyed the stream enough to donate to me. Thank you. Yeah, there's a ton of O faces in this game. All right, so then you just run normally, but you have to do this kind of route. You gotta get out of the uh, elevator as fast as you can. Go underneath the thing here. If you did it all right, your first encounter should be at about that spot. Load time is insane. Your goal is always to beat Jesse down the stairs. If you don't beat Jesse, you fucked up. And then of course you just run from every fight that you get into. I will, uh, I will do a speed run, Jay. I'm just teaching the route for now. I'll do step-by-step -step guide on every boss. All right, so for the majority of the Midgar bosses, your ATB is gonna be on active, okay? So for now, you don't need to worry about it until I tell you. All right, if you drove really well, you won't get into an encounter on the way to a guard scorpion on that spot there. So I drove really well. There's no pull right now, Absorbent.
Okay, so this part's important. You always want to get a good guard scorpion to start your day. Alright, so you see your starting ATBs here? I'll show you. Okay, starting ATBs like that, it wasn't good enough to hold circle and try and get an attack off, okay? So what you do is you start with bolt with cloud and a regular attack with Barrett, okay? Now whoever he search scopes, you're gonna attack with first. So he search scopes Cloud. So I'm just gonna hold circle and let Cloud attack again. So his Scorpion Tail could bring Cloud over the edge with a limit break. Or he could just dodge. That's fine too. That kind of sucks, but okay. So we just keep holding circle now at this point. Now, whoever he's gonna search scope first, which is Cloud again, we're gonna just keep holding circle then. Whoever he search scopes, you want them to then do the next attack first. So he just search scope Cloud, so I just attacked with Cloud. If he would have search scope Barrett, I would have attacked with Barrett and then immediately let Barrett do the next attack before syncing up Cloud's attack, okay? But since it was Cloud, we just hold circle. Yeah, I'll, I'll explain the dialogue choices. Alright, so that's... So then you just let him do his tail up a thing. Since we, he, since uh, Cloud dodged his uh, scorpion tail, this isn't the best guard scorpion fight you could do because you can't do your limit breaks, but it'll go fine. Just gotta hope Barrett takes some damage. So yeah, this is a pretty awful guard scorpion, but uh, also I did lose a lot of time for explaining things, so I don't really know in reality what time the guard scorpion is. No, well, yeah, it is, but I don't have HD graphics put on. Damn, that sound effect is loud. I'm hoping to get the Windows 7 disc soon. You are absorbing everybody who watches as a part of the Carnage Crew. But if you want to become part of the, part, part of the Carnage Crew speedrunning squad, then yeah. No big deal. That's pretty good, Chad. That alarm is really loud for me compared to everything. Okay, so here's the next part that you gotta know from instant manipulation. You jump across here, you run across here, walk. You have to walk. Even after this encounter, you walk down the stairs, okay? Until you can't see Cloud's hair anymore. Then you could just run the rest of the way. It skips the encounter right at this point right now. And then, most importantly, when you get to the top of this uh, staircase up here, you walk from the beginning into the elevator. Okay, that'll skip, that'll skip the encounter out in this area, out in the lobby here. Or, I 
screwed it up, I guess. I haven't gotten that in the PC. I haven't gotten that down in the PC version yet. So there might be something different. Maybe you have to walk a little bit sooner in the PC version. Usually on the PS2 version, it's right at the top, but you might have to walk a little bit earlier. 